Hi, Aerial Fam. It's Eunice. I can't believe it's been three years since I started doing aerial dance and posting videos about my aerial practice. Challenges. <laughs> I forgot what I want to say. Did you notice something? I had very little strength, but big, big goals. I just thought if I tried hard enough, I can do anything. Maybe I could find the perfect workout for getting strong and flexible. And did I? Think about the most difficult thing you have tried and imagine it 100 times harder. That's how I felt about aerial dance when I started. I was the type that felt like I was dying every time I work out. It was not my goal to be a professional aero dancer or to perform. I just wanted to get fit without doing boring raps in the gym. Other than getting fit, of course I also want to look free and elegant. Seeing that, people usually start training at a young age. I started to feel maybe I was too late to become good in aero dance. But let me tell you a secret. My favorite thing about aero dance is that you can decide what's good for you. So I decided I'm not going to worry about doing crazy advanced tricks. I will be amazing at doing the simplest moves and I will feel proud to be a beginner aerialist. Feel powerful and free in my own way. <laughs> Still worrying about starting late in aero dance? I actually find that you're more likely to stick around if you started a hobby later in life. Look at me and you. Aero dance itself is not meant to be painful, but finding yourself in the air takes time and mistakes are likely to cause pain. Oh no! think about the risk of my actions much more now. What is the potential pain and is it worth it? Now thinking back, the journey is full of different types of pain and joy. Yeah, whenever you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It's really not easy to grow through each of the pain points. So now I understand oh no. why so many people would just give up. But you have me. Eight minutes, we can do it. You don't need to feel alone in your pain and joy. I am 30 today and I'm the healthiest and strongest I have ever been. <laughs> and I'm about to share with you my secret sauce of growing and I know that it will help you too. Relax your shoulders. <laughs> I am trying. <laughs> it took me three years to find out that I have little understanding to how to use my body. When I wanted to be flexible, I pushed myself to do as much as I can until I found out it wasn't working. I wanted to have strength, so I kept learning and practicing. I just wanted to keep growing, which I did, but so did the pain. I wish someone would have told me sooner that I need to learn how to achieve what I want without pushing. This is where I am at now. I'm rebuilding my foundation. Remember I told you about those boring raps in the gym? I finally appreciate them and begin to know how to feel my muscles in each movement. I became too focused on this rigid workout to push me and motivate me. So now I have flexibility and strength, but really missing the control. You can easily check that yourself by doing any exercises and see if you can do a slow and control both up and down while keeping everything else stable. 
It doesn't matter what level you are or where you practice, as long as you know what to focus on. If you just pay a little more attention in getting legit decent rest and returning in the right pace, you can and you will be a great aerial dancer. That's my year three progress update for you. If you're working on strength, definitely try out the FIFA Aerial Challenge. If you're up for a new flexibility challenge, be prepared to join us next week for the first session of the Oversplit Challenge. It will help me out if you share this video to a friend who might find it useful, or just leave me a comment to share with me your stories. Bye!